<sighs> Dearest Pumpkin, taking a breather between battles to write you this note. As usual, I'm still leading raids, outfoxing the enemy, and striking the nips wherever I find All right, inside all of you. Come on, come on now. Quick! What's the idea of here with these pirates? When I'm... When I was... Uh, 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 what is this? What? Oh, I really got them this time, sir. They were going to put on a show, sir, with her. A hoochie-coochie show, sir. <laughs> hoochie-coochie? Oh, yes, but, Captain, it's for a worthy cause. Oh, yes, sir, to boost the morale of the hospital patient. Uh, allow me to introduce Lieutenant Susie Clayton. One of the newest additions to the Taratupa nurses staff. It's a pleasure to be aboard, sir. Oh, well, 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 thank you, Lieutenant. For your information, before the war, the Lieutenant was widely known to theater goers everywhere as Fabulous Fatima. That's right, Captain. I was an interpretive dancer. You know the kind? Yes, I know the kind. Yes, I mean, I know, I know. He knows, Lieutenant. Well, he's no prude. He may not look it, but he's been around. <laughs> of course he's been around. And so young to be a captain, too. <laughs> oh, you, you noticed that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, sometimes I think that... What are you men gawking at? Now, you get out of here. I've got a lot of things to talk to Fatima, uh, Su uh, the lieutenant, about. A lot of things. Out, out, out. Oh, oh, come on, let's get out of here. Hurry up, too. I'm the devil in America. Get out of here. Captain, I'm so glad you changed your mind about our show. Yes, uh, why don't you call me Wally? <laughs> you know, after all, it is for the base recreation fund, and goodness knows we need recreation or funds, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, sir, let me help Get you. Get down! Grab these fingers off of that. What's the matter with you? Can't you see that's a work of art? Oh, yes, it is beautiful, but, sir, it's your wife. My wife? You numbskots, not my wife. My wife doesn't dress like that, man. Yes, sir, you don't understand. I just got a call from the air, sir. Your wife is here, sir, on the base. How could you mistake a lovely thing like this sir. for my wife? My wife has got to... My wife is on the base. Uh, pumpkin? Is, uh, she's 5,000 miles. I just wrote her a letter. Well, you can save the stamp, sir, because Pumpkin is... I mean, she's on her way in from the airstrip now. Well, how? Where? Why? It's the Women's Navy League, sir. Some of the women are on a tour of the hospitals of the South Pacific. Now, we got to tidy up the place. Yes, sir, I'll help. Come and say my wife can't stand it. Here, tidy up. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I got to get a picture out here. The dust. Get the dust. I got it, sir. Oh, how, how did this thing get to here? What happens? Put that someplace. Get it out of here. Sir, I got it. Get it out of there. Wally? Don't get nervous. Wally, Wally, what is it? What do you think about this? Lieutenant, I can't hear. Susie, what is it? What? You said you wanted to see my costume for the Anchors Away now. The anchors Away? Well, you put that thing on, it'll be bye-bye Wally. Uh, get out of here. Sweet, come on, let's oh, go. Oh, 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 sir. It's your wife. She's here now. Oh. Well, don't just stand there for goodness. Hide some. Get out of the desk. Yes, sir. No, wait a minute. That's the first place you'll look. Come out of there. It's safe. It's safe. But is it safe, sir? No, it's not safe. Come out the back door. Right, no, why didn't you say so? Yoo-hoo! Wallace! You don't want to say Do I stand out? Hello? Hello? Pumpkins. Teddy bear! <laughs> oh, oh, my precious, you don't know how I've missed you. And I you, dearest lord and master. <laughs> Isn't that... What's the matter, Elroy? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but, but we're so touching. Just like that movie I saw last week with Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. He comes into the... Oh, all right, all right. Stop that. And dear, this big crybaby is my aide. This is Lieutenant Carpenter. How are you, Lieutenant? Charmed, I'm sure, ma'am. I never knew a commanding officer's wife could be so lovely. Oh. <laughs> kid, boy, kid. Now, come, dear, we've got an awful lot to talk about. And so little time. They've only given me a few hours to visit you and the boys at the hospital. Oh, well, welcome to Pentagon West. <laughs> oh, you crazy Daring fool. How often I have read and reread your letters. Oh, those awful raids and the hand to hand combat. Oh, you have every right to be proud, ma'am. The captain is always the first one down to the dock when the men come back. He's down, down there. there. Are you still here? Well, yes, sir. Well, you I shouldn't think... be here. You should be out at the air raid shelters checking to see if they have enough air. Go, go. Yes, sir. Knock that door, for heaven's sake, sir. <laughs> I tell you, Martha, the incompetent help I have here. Everything right on my shoulders. No, oh, Teddy Bear. When is the Navy going to recognize your true qualities of leadership? 
You should at least be an admiral by now. <laughs> but you know the red tape. I, mean, I don't care about that. Though. There is only one thing on my mind, and that is winning this ugly, dirty war. <clears throat> what a job for a fighting man. <laughs> All right, Captain. Here's the balloons you ordered. Balloons? Why, Wallace? Yeah, you stoop. What is the matter with you? I meant weather balloons. Weather balloons. <laughs> Weather balloons? Oh, for crying out loud. Well, how do you do, ma'am? Uh, you must be another chorus girl for the show. <laughs> Boy, is he ever scraping a barrel. Chorus girl? This is my wife. He's always making me those stupid jokes. Oh, that must be the nitwit ensign that you're always writing about. And you're Chicken McHale. <laughs> what? Oh, the nerve. You are a disgrace to the Navy. Hello, Mama. Now, just a minute, Mrs. Binghamton. I don't know what the captain wrote to you, but it's about time you finally learned the truth. Now, now, I will tell her the truth, and it is this. If you don't get out of here and take Goofy with you, you're both going to end up in the bridge, and that is the truth. Uh, now, wait just a minute, yeah, sir. I don't mind. Come on, Alex. Oh, Alex. Show. Yeah. What show? What show? I don't know anything about a show, Martha. They must be going to put on a show behind my back. Now, you men read me. There will be no show. Do you understand me? No show. I'm out of here. Out. Out. Out of here. Out. How do you like that lead bottom? How about all those fibs he told about us? Yeah. And how about that wife of his? Oh, boy. That's one pumpkin I never want to meet, even on Halloween. Hey, look at this. Weather balloons, oh. he says. Well, well, that's what they look like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Gee, I'm sorry, sir. I should have fought. Oh, you murderers! You killed the captain! <laughs> Hey, go oh, 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 you just rest easy now, Captain. Oh. Here, let me fluff up this pillow. Oh. Oh, you menace, get away from here. Oh, you poor dear. Oh. After going through all those battles without a scratch, and now oh. this. Oh, he hasn't got a scratch. Wait a minute, I'll get that. I'll get that. Hello? What kind of a thing is it? Oh. <laughs> Right. Right up to there. Hurry up, I'm gonna throw together. Get... Oh, Admiral Rogers, how are you? Well, I just landed on your airstrip, Binghamton. While they're refueling, I thought I'd touch base and see how things are going. How going? <laughs> going. How things are going fine, Admiral. Just fine. Fine? Wallace, how can you say that? Let me speak to him. Admiral's a very busy man. You can't talk to him. Well, it's about time somebody told him what's going on around here. Let me have the phone. Teddy Bear. <laughs> Binghamton, what's going on over there? Admiral Rogers, this is Mrs. Binghamton speaking. Oh, it's so good to talk to you. Mrs. Binghamton? Oh, I'm here with the Women's League, touring the hospitals. Oh, I'd love to meet you, Admiral. The captain and I are giving a little reception over at the officer's club. Why don't you join us and we'll have a lovely chat over a glass of punch? <laughs> what reception? I'm not giving it. Did you ever see him drink? <laughs> You'll come, Admiral. Yeah, yes. I, I, I'll be there. Oh, wonderful. Teddy Bear, he's coming. Uh, what the, I mean, what the, how could you do a thing like this? This is a, a country club. It's a war zone. But don't you understand this may mean a promotion for you? Why, if the Admiral hears one-tenth of what you wrote me in your letters... Letters? He... Oh, well, darling, you wouldn't mention the letters, would you? Would you? Would you? Don't mention the letters. They're very personal letters. They're full of top secrets. They're sealed with a kiss. <laughs> And as for you two troublemakers, the Admiral's gonna hear about you, but good. You have committed your last act of treason around here. Treason? Now look, Captain... Just, 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 just. You're wasting your breath. I've got to get over at the officer's club and get started on the hors d'oeuvres. For the last time. Dearest sweetheart, you sit right down here and rest, and then you change your clothes. Pumpkin will take care of everything. <laughs> when I've finished talking with the Admiral, you won't be a captain anymore. <laughs>
You can say that again. Yeah, well, what are you complaining about? Punk will probably have us shipped back to boot camp. Yeah. Mikhail, you gotta do something. You're in this just as deep as I am. If she gets the Admiral's ear, we're all dead. Well, now, what can I do? What can we possibly do to keep those two apart? Now, huh? you tell me. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Look, suppose we tell the Admiral that Mrs. Binghamton had to fly home because she forgot that she left the water running in the bathtub. <laughs> Water in the bathtub. Water on the brain, that's what you've got. No, 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 no. Wait, now, wait a minute, Captain. No, 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 just a second, sir. Uh, now, now, look, when the Admiral does come, why couldn't you tell him that your wife is gone? In the meantime, uh, Chuck and I will stall her down at the club until he leaves, huh? And that way they couldn't possibly see each other. Huh? Well, that could work. Yeah? <laughs> this is risky, though. Oh. I mean, lying to the Admiral, that's risky. My whole career is at stake. Oh, then you got nothing to lose. <laughs> nothing to lose. No, 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 no. No, my navigator, don't hit him in the head. No. Not the head. Oh, boy. It's going to be murder. Two boatloads of Marines arriving. We got to tell them the show's been canceled. Why can't we just give them their money back? Are you kidding? If we give those gyrenes anything, it better be shaped like a girl. Hi, fellas. How's this for the opening number? What opening number? Didn't you get the word? Old Leadbottom canceled the show. No, I just got off duty. Well, he can't cancel the show. What about the guys in the ward? They're counting on it. We're liable to be in the wards ourselves when those Marines get through with us. I'm not going to stand still for this. I'm going to go and talk to the captain and make him change his mind. Coming, Admiral. Coming. All right, come in. Captain, I want to talk to you about the show. Susie, good heavens, what are you doing here? I can't talk to you. Go away. But Wally... Don't call me Wally. Not ever, ever, ever Wally. Now, 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 dismissed. Captain, this is important. We just have to do that show. Show? What's the matter? My wife is here and the Admiral is coming and you... Uh, what are you, some kind of a troublemaker or something? Now you get out of here. Out, 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 out. <laughs> Admiral Rogers. Oh, if he sees me with you and you with me, I mean, me like this, we'll be drummed out of the Navy. What do I do? Hi, don't just stand there. Hi, quick, get under there. No, it's the first place you look. Get off there. Get behind the lamp. Get behind the lamp. That's it. Don't show. You're showing. Come on, there. Stop showing. Right this way, sir. This is dead. Help me with this thing. It's stuck, for heaven's sake. Oh! 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 Oh!
Why are you men standing around? There's work to be done. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, ma'am, uh, Mrs. Binghamton, you see, uh, that was the Admiral on the phone. And, uh, yes, he said he was going to be detained for a few hours. Yes, a uh, staff meeting, you know. Oh, what a shame. Yes. Uh, oh, but he suggested that uh, you use this time uh, for your hospital tour. Oh. <laughs> right. Hospital tour, right. It was not, not ordered. Right? Oh, well, in that case, we'd better go. Oh, yes. Uh, Commander, I have to get my purse. Oh, yes. <laughs> Skip. It's the Admiral and Susie. <laughs> All right, then. I'm ready to go. Oh, but Mrs. Binghamton, uh, instead of taking the long way, uh, why don't we take the short way out through the bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out through the obstacle course. Yes, Boy, but, you're going to love it. <laughs> Walk over the barricade and everything. <laughs> and you know, Susie, I can't get over it. You sounded so much older over the phone. <laughs> now, for the moment of truth. Card selected. And there's your card, the Jack of Hearts. <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Now look, Gruber, we didn't pay five bucks to see some crummy card tricks. Now bring on a dancing girl. What's all this commotion? What's going on? You mean that's Fatima? We've been robbed. <laughs> we want double our money back. <laughs> Now, there seems to have been a slight case of misunderstanding here, boys. It sure has been, Commander. We came here to see a show with girls. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. All right, hold it, hold it. Well, I'm sorry, Mac, but the uh, show has just been canceled. So if you'll just... Just uh... a moment, McHale. If these poor boys came here for a show, they should have a show. <laughs> Community sing. Oh, community sing. Oh, oh, that sounds great. Are you kidding, Commander? I said it sounds great, huh, boys? Community sing. Oh, what fun. Hey, we like that, huh? Oh, yeah, you can count me in. Yeah, me too. Well, splendid. Now, shall we start with Genevieve, sweet Genevieve? Oh. Key of C. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a record with a Latin beat, huh? <laughs> Captain, I can't go on playing your wife. Why don't we just tell him the truth? And get court-martialed. You are going to be my wife until I ask for a separation. That's an order. <laughs> Uh, no, what is the daughter being What is the daughter? Oh, I was just telling uh, Susie that uh, she uh, uh, she hasn't got time to order another drink. You see, oh. they're expecting her at the hospital tour. Oh, that hospital tour. Well, I have a little time. Maybe I could join you. Well, of course, we could go over there together. <laughs> together? We'll go over there together. Oh, you wouldn't want to go over there, Admiral. Oh, no, no, it's very dangerous over there. You see, it's, uh, it's full of disease and pestilence. <laughs> Captain. If this little lady can go over there, it's certainly safe enough for us. <laughs> oh, uh, well, well, I'll tell you what, then, Admiral. Uh, uh, you go on, and I'll, I'll phone ahead. I'll have them spray the wards. You see, you can't be too careful. All but right. Charity. Come along, Susie. Right. Things going around. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, Captain. All right, I'll get her out of the way here. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're going to more trouble. The Admiral and Susie are on their way here. we got to ditch Mrs. Binghamton. She, she was just starting to sing on key. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, everybody. I'm awfully sorry. I hate to break up the show, ladies and gentlemen, but I've got to take your sunshine gal away. I don't understand. Uh, would you see, ma'am, uh, the... Um, CB Hospital just called. They were on the telephone, and uh, they heard you were here. And, well, they, they're just dying to see you. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Parker will uh, drive you right over. You better get going, because they're real anxious. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. It's been fun. Good luck with the war. <laughs>
start the skip. There's no CB hot. I know, I know. Just take her for a Jeep ride anywhere. Go on, get going. This is a long answer, and I can't keep my fans waiting. Oh, if the girls at the Weight Watchers Club could only see me now. Yes. <laughs> farewell, farewell. <laughs> okay, Gruber, start saying your prayers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? Which reminds me, I've got to go get a pair. <laughs> All right, boys, let's keep the ball rolling. How about a nice fast course from, uh, from the halls of Montezuma, huh? <laughs> hey, look, fellas, that must be for Tima. A turn, hurt! Huh? You guys wanted your money back. Well, what's going on here, Commander? Oh, you see, uh, Mrs. Uh, I, I mean, uh, 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 Susie here uh, promised uh, to uh, demonstrate a little dance for the boys. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, uh, since you have to rush off, sir... Uh... Why, I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Unless the captain has some objections. Uh, uh, objections? I No, no, I, I have no objections. I mean, she wants to dance. Let her dance. I mean, nothing is too good for the boys. <laughs> well, well. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Barrel of fun at parties. Oh, oh that's all at all. We can't keep up with the invitations. <laughs> yes, sir. Admiral Rogers, an urgent signal for you, sir, from Comfleet. You ought to proceed immediately to Kanakai. Of all the blasted luck. Oh, yes, Admiral. That's terrible luck. Just awful luck. But uh, well, don't worry, sir. Uh, we'll uh, send along your regrets, a little lady. Well, good. Goodbye, boys. Hey. Have a good time. Hey. <laughs> and thanks for your hospitality, Binghamton. Oh, you're a lucky fellow. <laughs> uh, bon voyage, Admiral. Yeah. Uh, happy landing, sir. Bye. We'll wave, Elroy. Oh, right. Well, we did it. We did it, Mikhail. We kept the Admiral and Pumpkin apart. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, where is my wife? Oh, well, Mr. Parker's keeping her busy with a Jeep ride, sir. Till the um, pressure is uh, off, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to put it in. Oh, oh sir, yes, sure. sir. Yes, There's Ensign Parker right. and Mrs. Binghamton now, sir. <laughs> sir, he's helping her aboard. Tell everybody at home we're doing our best. He's put her on board with the Admiral. We gotta stop them. Stop, stop the plane! Stop! <laughs> Chuck, for the love of Mike, what have you done, huh? What's what have you done? <laughs> well, yeah, what did I tell you? See, when I saw the plane, I got a brainstorm. I told Mrs. Binghamton there was an alert, and I put her on there before she could think twice. <laughs> no, 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 that's the Admiral's plane. You'll put her on board with the Admiral. The Admiral? Well, now she's going to show him all your letters, and he's going to tell her all about Susie. Well, I guess I better be going. All right, all right. <laughs> See what you think it is. Uh, dear Admiral Rogers, don't lean on my guest. Oh, <laughs> By now you must know the whole story. So there is little point in my deceiving you any further. I hereby confess my full guilt for all that has happened here and respectfully await my punishment. Now, Mikhail, how's that sound? Captain, you have my undying respect, sir. I mean a full confession. It takes guts to sign a letter like that, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not signing it, you big dummy. Parker is here. <laughs> Me? Will not, will not. Don't you do it, boy. No, sir, you can't make him do that. Now, wait a minute, Captain. Now, wait just a minute. Put your hands on the ground. 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 Dearest Pumpkin, taking a breather between battles to write you this note. As usual, I'm still leading raids, outfoxing the enemy, and striking the nips wherever I find All right, inside all of you. Come on, come on now. Quick! What's the idea of bursting in here with these pirates? When I'm... When I was... Uh, 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 what is this? What? Oh, I've really got them this time, sir. They were going to put on a show, sir, with her. A hoochie-coochie show, sir. A hoochie-coochie? Oh, uh, yes, but, Captain, it's for a worthy cause. Oh, yes, sir, to boost the morale of the hospital patients. Uh, allow me to introduce Lieutenant Susie Clayton. 
one of the newest additions to the Taratupa nurse's staff. It's a pleasure to be aboard, sir. Oh, well, 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 thank you, Lieutenant. For your information, before the war, the Lieutenant was widely known to theater goers everywhere as Fabulous Fatima. That's right, Captain. I was an interpretive dancer. You know the kind? Yes, I know the kind. Yes, I mean, I know, I know. Yes, he knows, Lieutenant. Well, he's no prude. He may not look it, but he's been around. Of course he's been around. And so young to be a captain, too. <laughs> oh, you, you noticed that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, sometimes I think that... What are you men gawking at? Now you get out of here. I've got a lot of things to talk to Fatima, uh, Su uh, the lieutenant, about. A lot of business. Out, out, out. Oh, oh, come on, let's get out of here. Hurry up, come on, the devil in America. Get out of here. Captain, I'm so glad you changed your mind about our show. Yes, uh, why don't you call me Wally? <laughs> After all, it is for the base recreation fund, and goodness knows we need recreation or funds, I mean. <laughs> So let me help Get you. Get grab these fingers off of that. What's the matter with you? Can't you see that's a work of art? Oh, yes, it is beautiful, but, sir, it's your wife. My wife? You numbskots, not my wife. My wife doesn't dress like that. Yes, sir, you don't understand. I just got a call from the air, so your wife is here, sir, on the base. How could you mistake a lovely thing like this sir. for my wife? My wife has got to get My wife is on the base. Uh, ba uh, pumpkin? Is, uh, she's 5,000 miles. I just wrote her a letter. Well, you can save the stamp, sir, because pumpkin is... I mean, she's on her way in from the airstrip now. Well, how aware? Well, why? It's the Women's Navy League, sir. Some of the women are on a tour of the hospitals of the South Pacific. We got to tidy up the place. Yes, sir. Right. Help. Come on, thanks, my wife. Here, 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 tidy up. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I got to get a picture out here. The dust. Get the dust. I got it, sir. Oh, good. Oh, how did this thing get here? What happens? Put that someplace. Get it out of here. Sir, I got it. Get it out of the place. Oh, what, 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 what is it? What do you think about this? Oh, Lieutenant, I can't hear. Susie, what is it? What? You said you wanted to see my costume for the anchors away now. The anchors away? Well, you put that thing on, it'll be bye-bye Wally. Uh, get oh, out of here. Come on, oh, oh, sir, sir. It's your wife. Bye. She's here now. Oh. Oh, well, don't just stand there for going to hide some. Get out of the desk. Yes, sir. No, 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 that's the first place you'll look. Come out of here. It's safe. Get in the safe. Never put Wally. But is it safe, No, it's not safe. Come on the back door. No, why didn't you say so? Yoo-hoo! Wallace! You know, yes, yes, yes. 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 Hello! Pumpkins. Teddy bear! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my precious, you don't know how I've missed you. And I, you, dearest lord and master. <laughs> Isn't that... What's the matter, Elroy? Well, I'm sorry, sir, but, but we're so touching. Just like that movie I saw last week with Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. He comes into oh, the... Oh, all right, all right. Stop that. And dear, this big crybaby is my aide. This is Lieutenant Carpenter. How are you, Lieutenant? Charmed, I'm sure, ma'am. I never knew a commanding officer's wife could be so lovely. Oh. <laughs> kid, boy, kid. Now, come, dear, we've got an awful lot to talk about. And so little time. They've only given me a few hours to visit you and the boys at the hospital. Oh, well, welcome to Pentagon West. <laughs> oh, you crazy, daring fool. How often I have read and reread your letters. Oh, those awful raids and the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, you have every right to be proud, ma'am. The captain is always the first one down to the dock when the men come back. He's down, down there. Are you still here? Well, yes, sir. Well, you I shouldn't think... be here. You should be out at the air raid shelters checking to see if they have enough air. air? Go, go. Yes, sir. Knock that door, for heaven's sake. Yes, sir. I tell you, Martha, the incompetent help I have here. Everything right on my shoulders. No, oh, teddy bear. When is the Navy going to recognize your true qualities of leadership? You should at least be an admiral by now. But you know the red tape. I don't care about that. There is only one thing on my mind, and that is winning this ugly, dirty war. What a job for a fighting man. <laughs> All right, Captain. Here's some... Oh, okay, give me the officer's club. It's a matter of life and death. <laughs> was keeping the captain. Oh, yeah. Well, you should make a great wife for Captain Blind. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Commander McHale here. Oh, yes, sir, Captain. 
What? He thinks Susie... <laughs> all, all right. Okay, sir. I'll do the best I can, sir. Yes, sir. Holy Hannah. What's the problem, Skip? The Admiral and Susie are on their way over here. And the Admiral thinks that Susie is Mrs. Binghamton. Oh, yeah. huh? What do you say we volunteer for a suicide mission? Uh, <laughs> Why are you men standing around? There's work to be done. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, ma'am, uh, Mrs. Binghamton, you see, uh, that was the Admiral on the phone. And, uh, yes, he said he was going to be detained for a few hours. Yes, a uh, staff meeting, you know. Oh, what a shame. Yes. Uh, oh, but he suggested that uh, you use this time uh, for your hospital tour. Oh. <laughs> right. Hospital tour, right. It was not, not ordered. Right? Oh, well, in that case, we'd better go. Oh, yes. Uh, Commander, I have to get my purse. Oh, yes. <laughs> Skip. It's the Admiral and Susie. <laughs> oh. All right, then. I'm ready to go. Oh, but Mrs. Binghamton, uh, instead of taking the long way, uh, why don't we take the short way out through the bag? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. Out through the obstacle course. Yes. Boy, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Walk over the barricade and everything. <laughs> and you know, Susie, I can't get over it. You sounded so much older over the phone. <laughs> now, for the moment of truth. Card selected. And there's your card, the Jack of Hearts. <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. That was close. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Now look, Gruber, we didn't pay five bucks to see some crummy card tricks. Now bring on the dancing girls. <laughs> What's all this commotion? What's going on? You mean that's Fatima? We've been robbed. We want double our money back. <laughs> Now, there seems to have been a slight case of misunderstanding here, boys. There sure has been, Commander. We came here to see a show with girls. Yeah! yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right, hold it, hold it! Well, I'm sorry, Mac, but the uh, show has just been canceled. So if you'll just... Just uh... a moment, McHale. If these poor boys came here for a show, they should have a show. <laughs> Community sing. Oh, community sing. Oh, oh, that sounds great. Are you kidding, Commander? I said it sounds. See what you think of this, dear Admiral Rogers. Don't lean on my guest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> By now, you must know the whole story. So there is little point in my deceiving you any further. I hereby confess my full guilt for all that has happened here and respectfully await my punishment. Now, Mikhail, how's that sound? Captain, you have my undying respect, sir. I mean a full confession. It takes guts to sign a letter like that, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not signing it, you big dummy. Parker is here. <laughs> Me? Will not, will not. Don't you do it, boy. No, sir, you can't make him do that. Now, wait a minute, Captain. Now, wait just a minute. Don't touch it. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Dearest Pumpkin, taking a breather between battles to write you this note. As usual, I'm still leading raids, outfoxing the enemy, and striking the nips wherever I find. All right, inside all of you. Come on, come on now. Quick! What's the idea of bursting in here with these pirates? When I'm... When I was... Uh, 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 what is this? What? Oh, I've really got them this time, sir. They were going to put on a show, sir, with her. A hoochie-coochie show, sir. A hoochie-coochie? Oh, yes, but, Captain, it's for a worthy cause. Oh, yes, sir, to boost the morale of the hospital patient. Uh, allow me to introduce Lieutenant Susie Clayton, one of the newest additions to the Taratupa nurses' staff. It's a pleasure to be aboard, sir. Oh, well, 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 well thank you, Lieutenant. For your information, before the war, the lieutenant was widely known to theater goers everywhere as Fabulous Fatima. That's right, Captain. I was an interpretive dancer. You know the kind? Yes, I know the kind. Yes, I mean, I know, I know. Yes, he knows, Lieutenant. Well, he's no prude. He may not look it, but he's been around. Of course he's been around. 
And so young to be a captain, too. <laughs> oh, you, you noticed that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, sometimes I think that... What are you men gawking at? Now you get out of here. I've got a lot of things to talk to Fatima, uh, Su uh, the lieutenant, about. A lot of business. Out, out, out. Oh, oh, come on, let's get out of here. Hurry up, come on, the devil in America. Get out of here. <laughs> captain, I'm so glad you changed your mind about our show. Yes, uh, why don't you call me Wally? <laughs> I mean, uh, after all, it is for the base recreation fund, and goodness knows we need recreation or funds, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Let me help. Get down, grab a uh, Pumpkin is. Uh, she's five thousand miles. I just wrote her a letter. Well, you can save the stamp, sir, because Pumpkin is. I, I mean, she's on her way in from the airstrip now. Well, how aware? Why? It's the Women's Navy League, sir. Some of the women are on a tour of the hospitals of the South Pacific. Now, we got to tidy up the place. Yes, sir. Come and save my wife. Yes, here, tidy up. Yes. Oh my goodness, I got to get. Get a picture out here. The dust. Get the dust. I got it, sir. Oh, how did this thing get to here, my heavens? Put that someplace. Get it out of here. Sir, I Get it out of the deck. Wally? Wally, what is it? What is it? Lieutenant, I can't hear. Susie, what is it? What? You said you wanted to see my costume for the Anchors Away now. Anchors Away? Well, you put that thing on, it'll be bye-bye, Wally. Get out of here. Come on, Oh, oh, sir, sir. It's your wife. She's here now. Huh. Well, don't just stand there for goodness. Hide some. Get out of the desk. Yes, sir. No, wait a minute. That's the first place you'll look. Come out of there. It's safe. It's safe. But it's safe. 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 But is it safe, No, it's not safe. How about the back door? Back door. Why didn't you say so? Yoo-hoo! Wallace! You don't want to say anything. You're something right now. Hello? Pumpkins. Teddy bear. <laughs> oh, oh, my precious, you don't know how I've missed you. And I, you, dearest lord and master. <laughs> Isn't that... What's the matter, Elroy? Well, I'm sorry, sir, but, but we're so touching. Just like that movie I saw last week with Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. He comes into oh, the... Oh, all right, all right. Stop that. Uh, dear, this big crybaby is my aide. This is Lieutenant Carpenter. How are you, Lieutenant? Charmed, I'm sure, ma'am. I never knew a commanding officer's wife could be so lovely. Oh. <laughs> kid, poor kid. Now, come, dear, we've got an awful lot to talk about. And so little time. They've only given me a few hours to visit you and the boys at the hospital. Oh, well, welcome to Pentagon West. <laughs> oh, you crazy Daring fool. How often I have read and reread your letters. Oh, those awful raids and the hand to hand combat. Oh, you have every right to be proud, ma'am. The captain is always the first one down to the dock when the men come back. He's down, down there. Are you still here? Well, yes, sir. Well, you I shouldn't think... be here. You should be out at the air raid shelters checking to see if they have enough air. Go, go. Yes, sir. Knock that door, for heaven's sake, sir. I tell you, Martha, the incompetent help I have here. Everything right on my shoulders. No, oh, Teddy Bear. When is the Navy going to recognize your true qualities of leadership? You should at least be an admiral by now. But you know the red tape. I don't care about that. There is only one thing on my mind, and that is winning this ugly, dirty war. What a job for a fighting man. <laughs> All right, Captain. Here's something that's expecting you. Oh, Captain. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Binghamton. I didn't mean to barge in on your little family reunion. Well, Admiral, this is not what you think. Oh, well, no, there's no need to apologize, Binghamton. I know what these war separations are like, especially from a wife as lovely as yours. This is indeed a pleasure, Mrs. Binghamton. Mrs. Binghamton? Mrs. Binghamton? Oh, sure, this is Susie. Susie Binghamton. Susie Binghamton. <laughs> Susie Binghamton. <laughs> that's what it says on the marriage license. <laughs> my dear. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I mean, yes, Captain. Uh, darling! <laughs> this is certainly a surprise, Binghamton. An older man like you having such a lovely young wife. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not old. It's just, it's just that I worry a lot. Like now. I mean, I mean the, the war and all. You know. And, and speaking of the war, Admiral, I know you're anxious to get back to it. Carpenter, take the Admiral to his plane. <laughs> oh, relax, Wally. There's no hurry. <laughs> Besides, I'm looking forward to the reception Mrs. Binghamton planned at the officers' club. Oh, there we are. Oh, well, that's just a lot of warmed-over tuna fish and some stale lemonade. You'd hate that. Nonsense. 
I wouldn't think of disappointing this little lady. <laughs> As a matter of fact, while you're getting dressed, I could escort Mrs. Binghamton over to the club. Well, if that's the way you feel, Admiral, then uh, Elroy, you drive the Admiral over. And I wish you would call me Bruce. <laughs> well, goodbye, Susie. Bruce. Yeah. Right, you drive them over to the office club and then take the long way and drive slowly. Slowly. Bruce. Oh, okay, give me the officer's club. It's a matter of life and death. <laughs> keeping the captain. Oh, yeah. Boy, well, you should make a great wife for Captain Blind. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Commander McHale here. Oh, yes, sir, Captain. What? He thinks Susie... <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, sir. I'll do the best I can, sir. Yes, sir. Holy Hannah. Well, what's the problem, Skip? The Admiral and Susie are on their way over here. And the Admiral thinks that Susie is Mrs. Binghamton. Oh, huh? What do you say we volunteer for a suicide mission? Uh, <laughs> Why are you men standing around? There's work to be done. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, uh, ma'am, uh, Mrs. Binghamton, you see, uh, that was the Admiral on the phone. And, uh, yes, he said he was going to be detained for a few hours. Yes, a uh, staff meeting, you know. Oh, what a shame. Yes, uh, oh, but he suggested that uh, you use this time uh, for your hospital tour. <laughs> Right. Hospital tour, right. It was not, not ordered. Right? Oh, well, in that case, we'd better go. Oh, yes. Uh, Commander, I have to get my purse. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, Skip. It's the Admiral and Susie. <laughs> All right, then, I'm ready to go. Oh, but Mrs. Binghamton, uh, instead of taking the long way, uh, why don't we take the short way out through the bag? <laughs> yes, sir, from Complete. You ought to proceed immediately to Kanakai. Of all the blasted luck. Oh, yes, Admiral, that's terrible luck. Just awful luck. But uh, Well, don't worry, sir. Uh, we'll uh, send along your regrets, a little lady. Well, good. Goodbye, boys. Hey. Have a good time. Hey. And thanks for your hospitality, Binghamton. Oh, you're a lucky fellow. <laughs> uh, bon voyage, Admiral. Yeah. Happy landing, sir. Bye. We'll wave, Elroy. Oh, right. Well, we did it. We did it, Mikhail. We kept the Admiral and Pumpkin apart. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, where is my wife? Oh, well, Mr. Parker's keeping her busy with a jeep ride, sir. Until the um, pressure is <laughs> off, sir. <laughs> Remind me to pull it. Oh, oh sir. Yes, sir. Yes, There's yes, Ensign Parker and Mrs. Binghamton now, sir. <laughs> sir, he's helping her aboard. Tell everybody at home we're doing our best. He's <laughs> on board with the Admiral. We gotta stop them. Stop, stop the plane! <laughs> Chuck, for the love of Mike, what have you done, huh? What have you done? Well, yeah, what did I tell you? See, when I saw the plane, I got a brainstorm. I told Mrs. Binghamton there was an alert, and I put her on there before she could think twice. <laughs> oh, Nanny, that's the Admiral's plane. You'll put her on board with the Admiral. The Admiral? Well, now she's going to show him all your letters, and he's going to tell her all about Susie. Well, I guess I better be going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what you think of this. Dear Admiral Rogers, don't lean on my guess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> By now you must know the whole story. So there is little point in my deceiving you any further. I hereby confess my full guilt for all that has happened here and respectfully await my punishment. Now, Mikhail, how's that sound? Captain, you have my undying respect, sir. I mean a full confession. It takes guts to sign a letter like that, sir. Yes, it sir. Does. I'm not signing it, you big dummy. Parker is here. <laughs> Me? Will not, will not. Don't you do it, boy. No, sir. You can't make him do that. Now, wait a minute, Captain. Now, wait just a minute. Come on, John. Put your hands up. Come on, John. Put your hands up. Come on, John. Put your hands up. Dearest Pumpkin, taking a breather between battles 